How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for HabitsUnplugged.com. Today I wanted to talk about the three P's of habit change. Persistence, positivity and patience. Now, habit change is something which happens over time, right? It's not something that you're going to do within five minutes, you know? I mean, you buy a book and says, the five days to habit change, the uh, four hour work week, the uh, seven day solution, you know, the seven day weight loss solution, the seven day uh, alcohol freedom solution, the uh, seven day quit smoking solution. You know, all these things are promising habit change over a very short space of time. And none of it works because habits don't work like that, you know. Habits are, uh, they happen through repetition, right? The more repetition, uh, the closer those repetitions happen in time, the quicker the habit will come about. But when you're talking about quickness, you're talking about this in terms of months instead of uh, days, you know I mean? You can't get into a proper habit, say maybe 250, 256 days, I think six months or something like that, you know, is the, is the time when it takes to get into uh, an embedded habit where you're doing it subconsciously. And that's the basis of a habit where it's done uh, subconsciously without your really having to think about it. Think about all the things that you do that are habitual that you don't think are habitual, you know. If you want to know what's habitual in your life, right, take, I think about anything that you do, right, and if you had to get up in the morning and think about it, um, you know, imagine getting up in the morning and making a cup of coffee, right, learning how to use the machine, learning how much coffee to put into the, the machine or into your cup or how much water to put into the cup or when to put the water in, to put the water in first or after or to boil the water. Um, how, you know, should you boil it halfway or should you boil it all the way? All these kind of things are habitual things that you've done over your life. It's knowledge that you've accessed that you now can do without thinking about it, right? Subconsciously, you get up in the morning and you put the coffee on and you go and do other things but you don't really think about the coffee. You don't think about when you're pouring out the coffee and you're putting the sugar in or the milk or whatever you're putting into your coffee, right? Um, now, if you had to learn that afresh every morning, that's when you know it's a habit, right? Tying your shoelaces up, driving your car, uh, going to work, um, being at work, walking, talking. All these things are all habitual things that you've learned, you know? I mean, look at a baby. A newborn baby is just a bundle of instinctual moves that they haven't learned. It's something that they've, um, they do by instinct and everything is even to the control of their arms, you know. I mean, you watch a baby and it'll see its arm going and it'll sort of go, what the hell was that, you know. And there it is again, you know. Um, the baby has to learn how to control the arms and a lot of that is habitual. So... Habits take a long time to learn, and habits also take a long time to break down and to unlearn. Um, one of the best ways of, uh, of unlearning a habit is to learn another habit that's replacing it, right? So you're, you're sort of using some of the um, habitual neural pathways that you were using for the old habit in order to um, facilitate the implementation of your new habit, if you know what I mean. The first one of the P's is persistence, that you've got to keep pushing, you know, you've got to keep repeating the new habit, you've got to keep repeatedly not doing the old habit in order to break down the, um, the old habit. Persistence creates enduring habit change, right? Keeping persistent will make sure that the old habit dies and that it stays dead. Um, and that the new habits that you're replacing the old habits with stay alive, right? The next one is positivity. Now you think about positivity as the fuel for the journey, right? If you continuously tell yourself, you can't do this, I can't make these changes, the changes are too tough, the changes are 
um, not who I am, you know, it's not me as a person, this change. Um, if you keep telling yourself negative things about the new habit that you want to take on, you know, it's not really worth it. Or if you tell, tell yourself negative things about the positive things about the old negative habit, let's say, put it like that, then, you know, you can undo your work very quickly, you know. Um, but positivity, if you keep telling yourself you're on the right track, that you're moving in the right direction, even though you're making mistakes, right? Even though the things that you do might seem tough at the time, you know, and you're having to push yourself through um, discomfort. If you keep telling yourself positive things about it, um, then you're fueling your own forward momentum, your own progress, your own journey onwards and upwards, right? Um, and patience is the thing that keeps you on the path, right? Knowing that you have to do this day by day by day, right? You have to do it moment by moment. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. That It's going to be something that is going to take you um, weeks or months. And in some cases, maybe even a year or two years to truly get the habit under your control, you know, and... When I'm talking about under your control, I'm talking about it being from the sense that you know that um, uh, you're not being, no matter where you are, let's say taking uh, cigarettes, for instance, right, if you're a smoker, that, I mean, I, I, when I stopped smoking uh, a year afterwards, I was still, two years afterwards even, I was still smelling cigarette smoke and thinking, mm, that smells nice, you know. Uh, now sort of eight years on and I can say that cigarette smoke doesn't have any positive effect for me anymore. You know, when I'm sat with somebody who's smoking, A, I feel sorry for them, you know, that they're smoking, um, and B, I don't like the cigarette smoke, or it should be the opposite way around. A, I don't like breathing in the cigarette smoke anymore. I don't like the smell of it. I don't think it mixes with the food that I'm eating if I'm eating outside, and uh, B, I feel sorry for other people. But you have to have patience in this, you know. Um, you know, there are going to be times when no matter what habit you're trying to change, the habit comes back to you and, you know, sort of with a bit of force and you're real thinking, Jesus, well, you know, I thought I got rid of this, you know, I thought I got rid of these, these feelings, you know. Um, and usually it's only an emotional thing. It's something which um, can hit you when you're uh, a little bit emotionally uptight, let's say, you know. Um, but, you know... That this is where patience comes in comes in with the, the persistence and keeping yourself positive you know so um always remember those the three p's i'm going to end it here um until next time my name is kevin o'hara for uh, habitsunplugged.com remember that persistence is the key to success in habit change right that failure does not like persistence because failure was al will always be defeated uh, and three p's of uh, habit change are persistence positivity and uh, patience. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to learn these things in my head, so it's taking me a while to get them in there. Uh, persistence creates the enduring habit change. Uh, positivity fuels the journey and patience keeps you on the road. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye now.